I'm do something with my head, y'all. I'm looking 12 kinds of crazy. Probably breathing hard all in this microphone. Good morning. How's everybody doing? <sighs> okay, so I'm face first to um, talk to y'all about what we're going to do today. Can y'all hear me? This I got a new mic, so I'm trying to... <sighs> okay, so I'm face first. Yeah, y'all can hear me. Good morning, good morning. So, <clears throat> life circumstances have changed. If you've been wondering why I've been MIA, you'll see why in <laughs> this video. So I need an entirely new budget. Um, my finances are changing. My income is changing. The amount of money going out will be changing. And I was going to work through it on my own. But I know so many people come into cash stuffing with all of their numbers. And they're like, I don't know how to put two and two together. So I thought this would be a good time to show you me working through the process because I don't know all the numbers for some of these. I'm kind of guessing on some. So, um, you know, just so that you can see realistically what it looks like for someone to set up their budget. Uh, this is going to be an entirely new setup for me. I'm walking into an entirely new arena. It's scary, <laughs> but I want to share that with you because I try to be as transparent as possible. And it's also going to be a good way to walk through the new planner for those of you who have questions about what that looks like, what's included. Uh, I'm not using the one we're selling right now because we, <laughs> we don't have enough. So I'm using my sample, but you'll get the general gist of what's included and how to use the pages. Okay, so I'm going to flip y'all around so that y'all can see my desk. Let me get all my cords out the way here. And we are going to set up my new budget that I'm going to try to use for the month of October because in November I'm going to have new expenses. So let me switch y'all. Please forgive my messy disc. Okay, let's see if I can make this microphone fit. Get the cord out of the way. It's got a whole lot of cord. Good night. Hold on. Okay. I think that'll do. Let me get y'all set up. Get a little bit more light. Okay, and I know some of y'all will be asking questions along the way. Please don't get angry if I don't respond immediately. I kind of have to look up to see the questions sometimes. So I'll do my best. So here is, in essence, the new budget planner. It is what it is. You get the one with the hardcover. This is, again, one of the samples. So here's your welcome page. An introduction to baddies and budgets. A breakdown of what the cash stuffing method is and all that. You get an index on this page. Uh, you don't get these. We took these out. If y'all know and you've received it, you know that thing is huge. <laughs> so we had to cut out several pages so that it wasn't like a dictionary when y'all received it. So first up is yearly goals. I just went through and jotted some down. Um, let me fix my mic. For me. So for me, because I have a new set of expenses, I want to update my month ahead amount. Sorry if y'all hear snoring, y'all pinkies down there sleep. We have new bills, student loan payoff, which we will talk about in depth because <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday prep. That's a business thing, a goal I have. And then for November, I want to furnish my new home and I want to make sure that I'm staying in budget. And then for December, my goal every year is to rest because I take the last two to three weeks off of the year. Stop, Papa. Okay, so you get a couple. I think y'all get one in the new planner. And so here's what we're gonna talk about. So this is the sinking funds sheet in the new planner. So for me, a lot of these sinking funds are changing, but a lot are staying the same. So what you do here, on this sinking fund sheet is you go ahead and go in and write in 
your categories. So for me, these are all the ones that I currently have, okay? So I'm gonna show you here with the Christmas one. This is the one I usually show people with, the one I marked out here. So say for Christmas, I needed $1,000. I need about 12 one. Let's just say I was doing this, you know, however many weeks ago I did this. There were 11 pay periods until this date. So then you know that you need $90 per check. So 1,000 divided by 11 pay periods equals $90 per check for Christmas. These are some of the new sinking funds I'm going to include, so we'll talk about those. So I've done this a while, so I don't necessarily need this sheet to calculate what I need for sinking funds, but just for your purposes to be able to help you work through your new planner, I wanna do a few. So I'm actually gonna do some of the new ones. So for me, just household because I'm moving to a new home, there's absolutely nothing in it, but <laughs> there's so much that you need. So I really wanna have a sinking fund there so that if there's anything I need to buy, cleaning supplies or whatever, I'm able to do that. So because it is a new home, I'm gonna set a goal amount of $2,500 for that one. Uh, we're also gonna get a hot tub and I know that's gonna end up costing me about $18,000. Um, I want a pool, and that's gonna cost me about 100 grand. Patio furniture, because we have a really nice size patio in this new home, I have no idea. I've been poor my whole life, if y'all know, y'all know. So I don't know what patio furniture costs, but I am planning to wait on Black Friday to, um, to buy it so I'm just gonna say fifteen hundred dollars for furnishing the home so as y'all know I saved with that apartment binder for forever but a lot of that money is going towards the down payment um, I'll share more about why our home is so expensive but it is really <laughs> expensive so I put a hefty percentage down so that I didn't have to take out such a large mortgage so we're gonna have to start saving up again for furnishing. We're just gonna get like bare bones where we need to move in. And then like as Black Friday comes around and other sales, we'll get what we need. So I'm just gonna do $5,000 for furnishing. We will need a washer and dryer ASAP <laughs> because I'm not going weeks and weeks and weeks without being able to wash my clothes. So I'm gonna say $2,000 for those. I want a home fund just so that we have home money in the house for if anything comes up. And for that, I also want $2,000. I want a home emergency fund of $25,000. Um, I have, my dad's a homeowner, so I know this stuff happens, water heater goes out, um, HVAC, just anything. So I wanna have that money in a high yield savings so that if anything comes up, we're covered, right? We we at least can get there. And then my home insurance deductible, we haven't settled on which home insurance we're gonna use just yet. I don't close for another three or four weeks. So once I do that, I'll get that here. And I have no idea what home insurance deductibles are. So I'm just gonna say a thousand dollars. I may be off. I don't know, y'all. I've never owned a home. I don't know what that expense looks like. Um, hold on, let me see if I can clean off the camera. Is that better? Is it still blurry? Let me see. Is it better, y'all? Still blurry. Thank you so much for the congratulations. It's been a process, y'all. I thought that was going to be a fun journey, and I hated every second of it. But I did document it so that I can share it vlog style with y'all. Okay. So for our sinking funds, we have household, hot tub, which I'm actually gonna buy the day we move in, but I just wanna pay myself back for it. Um, pool, patio furniture to furnish the home, washer and dryer, the home fund, the home emergency fund, and the home insurance deductible. And I'm sure I'll add more of these in as I get into the house and kind of know what my expenses look like. But um, as far as personal, this is what I'll be covering. So I don't have a due date for any of these, so I'm not actually going to calculate what to put per check. I don't personally cash stuff like that. I just add what I can. But if I were to, so let's say I wanted this um, household emergency fund by 
let's say March, right? March 1st. So until then, I have January, February, March, December, and November. So that's about five times four. One of those is probably a five week month. So let's say 21 weeks. Um, plus the three left in October, 24 weeks. So let's say there's 24 pay periods until that's due. So what I would do is take that $2,500 divided by the 24 pay periods, and that means I would need to put $104 in this sinking fund per paycheck. Does that make sense? Give me some hearts, like the live, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for the congratulations. She said her home deductible is $2,500. So I may be off on that, Catherine, but once I know for sure, I will update it. Okay, so next page in here. Homeowners deductible range from 3% to 10% based on the value of your home. I'm trying to get a plan that doesn't do a percentage, that just does a flat rate. That's kind of what we're going through now. Um, so I'm hoping I can find one that doesn't. Um, my agent directed me against that. But we'll see. So up next we have bills. So I have new bills, <laughs> right? So we change from rent to mortgage. Um we now have water i'm actually outside the city limits so we're on um we have it's a different water system out there so i don't know what that's going to look like gas electric i now have to pay for trash and i called them before i got on here to see what that cost was going to be um our phone bill wi-fi i now have a security system in the home i'm moving into self lender state farm and also lawn care because we're on we have land so <laughs> and i ain't mowing I'm on acres, so no. Um, so I need to figure out what that costs. So I know a few of these numbers. I'm gonna add in what I know. And don't gasp, okay? I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> so for trash, she told me I could get one bin. They pick up one time a week and it was $33.50 a month. But I think I'm gonna do two bins because we get a lot of packages and I just rather be safe than sorry. So that one she told me is $46 a month. And of course, I won't know the date until I set these services up, but I know the trash is going to be $46. Okay. Yeah, we're we're flipping through it now. Impossible dream. Make sure you get the credit and that alarm when you get the homeowner's insurance. Okay. I haven't updated anybody. Y'all are the first people to know about me getting a new home. So <laughs> I literally have said it nowhere. So my mortgage is going to be uh, $5,267. Water, I don't know. So I'm just going to guesstimate um, $200 for each of these uh, because just... It's a large home, so I have not a clue. <clears throat> T-Mobile is going to stay about the same, so it's about $160. Uh, Wi-Fi, I don't know. It's a new company out there. Right now, our bill is like $70 a month, so I'm just going to say $100 because I don't know. I do not know, and I'm not able to like set that stuff up until we close, so... I don't know. Security, I don't know. <laughs> they currently have a security system installed with the company that's pretty reputable here. So I'm probably just going to pick up their lease. But I have no idea what that cost is. Um, the next time I talk to the homeowners, I'm going to ask about a lot of these bills, but they ain't the friendliest. But anyway, self lender, I currently just finished paying off self lender. So this is available right now on the site. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to pick self lender up right now. I got a lot of new expenses, so we'll see. State Farm is about $120 per month, but I pay it every six. And lawn care, I don't know. So there's a lot of ants in here, but this is about what I'll need. So this will work for now. Okay. This is our uh, budget planner, the new one on our site. 
Again, the one you get has a hard cover, but this is my sample version. So there's the bills. Um, next, after bills, there's subscriptions. I'm not gonna deal with those today. I'm actually trying to cut back on subscriptions before we move because we're trying to do less TV watching and more like outdoor active stuff. I wanna get my garden going and just like being in my own space, I feel like I won't spend as much time watching TV and stuff. So I'm trying to cut out of these. So currently I have HBO Max, Sling TV, Apple TV, Disney. Somebody actually told me about a bundle. I'm gonna try it for Disney and Hulu. Um, iFit, which is my treadmill app, <clears throat> Apple Music, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, my Audible membership, my FICO, which is um, a credit watch app. I really recommend if you're trying to get a home, it's been really helpful. Uh, my Ring doorbells, which I currently have at my office and at home. Pinky. Hush, boy. And BET Plus, because I'll be watching all the Queen's Men, if you know, you know. So, those are staying the same, so I'm not going to bother with those today. Listen, I, I'm going to talk to y'all about home ownership once I complete the process. It's not as hard as you think, but there's a lot to it, and you really want to pick people who will help you through the process. Um, <laughs> it, it's very, like, it feels invasive. Like, they want to know everything about everything and where this come from and who, what, when, where, why. Um, and I think the most important part is picking an experienced realtor and a realtor who is available to help you because he he get on my nerves a little bit sometimes but for the most part he's done a good job at keeping me informed helping me to make good decisions explaining what's what because if you've never purchased a home there's a lot of stuff that comes up that you're like what's that and honestly the bank i'm taking out the mortgage from i don't even bank there i've never been in the bank i've done it all over the computer one of my classmates is my uh lender so we just email and text so it's a lot less personal than i thought it would be um it's it's a journey it's been stressful the hardest part is because the market is so crazy we actually put in offers on two homes and ended up losing and they were good offers like <laughs> like good offers and people are just willing to stop pinky stop people are just willing to do a lot to get a home so it's been stressful to say the least but again i've been documenting and recording a lot of the journey so that i can share it with you from touring the homes to putting in the offers and all that good stuff. So definitely one thing is get your credit as high as possible. So my credit is like a 708. I ended up having to put 5% more down because my score wasn't a 720. Like get your score as high as possible. Get your credit profile as clean as possible. Like I thought I was good in the game <laughs> and I still could have done better. Closing costs are insane there's so many little expenses and fees that come up make sure you have a nest egg put away for this because no matter how much you save it still feels like whoo you know but it's it's worth it for me a lot of people don't feel like obligated to buy a home if you don't want to buy a home because <laughs> it's expensive but it's always been a dream of mine and something i really feel like i'd never be able to do so it's worth it for me, um, I don't plan on living anywhere else, so, you know, I, I'm here. This is my town, so. Anyway, so up next is your debt list. So for me, the only debts I have are the mortgage, which I don't technically have yet, and then I have student loans. So I paid off almost $60,000 of my student loan debt, and I thought forgiveness was going to happen. <clears throat> so I left $38,000 of the debt for two reasons. For one, it's my oldest credit line and I knew I was going to be buying a home. So if I would have paid off that last $18,000 of debt beyond forgiveness, which I thought we were going to get, it would have dropped my score and I would have had a really hard time recovering it because I don't, I didn't have a lot of credit cards. Two, I thought we were getting forgiveness. <laughs> didn't happen. So now student loans are back, and when I tell you I'm paying these off 
ASAP, I mean that. So I have 20 grand in the bank for these that I set aside because again, I thought the 20 was gonna get forgiven and I'd have to cover the 18. Y'all, I got a student loan payment in the mail for 380 something dollars. Sent the payment in and I went online to look at the payment link and like $8 of that, no, 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 let me not lie. It was like $30 of that went to principal. Everything else was interest. So I wish I had my tripod. I would log in and show y'all. Like, <laughs> it is crazy. Let me, it's like out of the $300 payment to some loans, because I have all nine, one of them, I think like loan four or five, none of it went to principal. Everything was uh, interest. So make sure that you are, if you can, I understand some people ain't going to pay it till they die. That's your business. That's between you and the government. But y'all, th the interest rates are insane. Like insane. If you actually go in, make your payment and go look at where the money actually went. So I actually <laughs> went in and took this loan number nine. The total was like 6,200 something. I paid it down to 6,000. I think I sent in 6,100 and something. So it's only like $50 left because I can't pay it off until I close. But I'm paying these off like ASAP as soon as I can. The interest is crazy. So we'll go into that when I move over to my computer. Uh, this planner also includes debt payment trackers. So you can individually go into each loan. So like for my mortgage, um, I don't know the statement date yet. I don't know the actual payment. The interest rate will be somewhere between seven and eight, I'm assuming. I'm trying to figure out how to buy down points. But anyway, the date I pay at how much and then the balance and the same for all of these loans, okay? So you have several pages of those in here. Girl, I can't wait to get them paid off, like, <laughs> please. So up next is a monthly overview. So this is just like a monthly calendar. We give you a little guide on how to use it. So number the days, let me pull it in. Add in the holidays, the paydays, the bills, the debt payments, the special events, pay frequency chart, which is monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, whatever. But you can also add in, you know, birthdays, holidays, whatever in this part. I've already used that one, so I'm going to go to the next month. And we're actually going to do this together for the month of October. I did take out the expense trackers in the big planner, y'all. There just wasn't enough space, unfortunately. So a TI is what a TI is. Uh, in the A5, though, we were able to keep it in because that's only six months worth, so... So anyway, pull y'all up a bit so y'all can see more. So let me read some questions. Yeah, I'm definitely, I actually created a student loan binder. It'll be here soon. I'm going to use that and pay off my student loans and I'll share that journey. Girl, yes, you can make principal only payments. I made one. Um, I, I My service is Mohila though. So I guess it may depend. So here I'm going to go into October and we are going to label the month. What day was the first of this month? Let's see. The first was Sunday. So we're going to go the first, second, third, fourth. So eight, 15, 22, 29. Okay, so I numbered my days. Um, there are holidays in October, actually. We have Halloween, which is the 31st, right? Yeah. 
but I don't need to add holidays. It's fine. So my paydays. So I pay myself, my business pays me on Mondays. So we're going to go ahead and write in payday here every Monday. This is another thing I have to figure out because I'm going to need to pay myself more. But we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go in. Uh, go look online for Mohila. I don't call. If you look online and you can um, click into where you do payments, I'll show you in a minute if you want. You can apply the money towards whatever you want to apply it towards. Uh, yeah, I'll set up um, the capability to purchase the inserts as well. It's just been busy, y'all. So I pay myself on Mondays. I'm also paid. So YouTube pays out on the 21st. And Facebook and Insta usually pay like the week after. Um, TikTok, I can never keep up with that payment. I'm going to put that on the same day. And I haven't taken sponsorships in forever because these companies be scandalous and I'm not pushing what y'all selling. Okay, the next thing to do would be to add bills, y'all. But because so many of these bills, I don't know when they're going to be due. I can't do that. Debt payments, the same thing. Actually, my student loan is due at the end of the month. So I think it came on the 27th. So I'm going to put that one here. And it was 382 but that's it um special events so if you had any special events coming up that cost you a significant amount of money you'd want to add those in here kids birthdays school shopping any of that and then for pay frequency chart it's just for you to be able to highlight if you're paid weekly or bi-weekly so that you can see which money comes from which check if that makes sense so if this week is all pink I know that all these bills need to be paid by this first pink paycheck. Okay, and so here is where <laughs> it gets tricky for me because I have no idea how much money I actually need. So because I am self-employed, I kind of control what I'm paid. I've been able to get away with uh, significantly less than what I should compared to what my business makes because my expenses haven't been that high but they are increasing significantly so I'm actually going to work on all of the rest of these numbers and then determine how much I need to pay myself or take from my social media income so I'm going to flip back and forth here to my bills section to see if I can get a better idea of what I'm going to need bill wise It's really hard to do this when you have no idea what these things are going to cost. Let me see if y'all have some questions. Uh, this is A4. Let me see. And A5 is binder size. So here's the A5 one. Oh, good for you, girl, getting them discharged. Uh, this is a janky one, so pay it no mind. But this is the A5 size. Okay, so let's go ahead and do fixed expenses, which are bills. So we're going to go ahead and go mortgage, water, gas, electric, trash, Wi-Fi, T-Mobile, A security system, self lender, state farm, and lawn care. Sorry if it's sloppy and y'all can't read. Okay, and again, these mounts, <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and round it up to. Bloody. Oh, y'all, these dogs are going to be the death of me. So, $5,300 for mortgage. 
I'm gonna do 200 for each of the utilities just to be on the safe side. Trash is 46, so I'm gonna just go ahead and round it up to 50. Wi-Fi, I'm gonna say 100. T-Mobile, 160, I think. That's, I pay for me and my niece's phone and my work phone. Uh, secure, well, it's not through T-Mobile technically, it's through Mint, but I just put it on the same envelope. Security, I don't know. I'm just gonna say 150. Self lender, if I do keep it, it's about 40 bucks a month. State Farm, I technically pay every six months. It's actually not 120, that's for one car. Uh, for my truck and my car, it's about 250 a month. And then lawn care, I've paid a guy to cut my grass at home. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say 250 a month for that too. Cause we got a lot of yard. Okay, so let's go ahead and add up all these bills <laughs> and see what we come up with. 5,300, 600, 150, 160, 150. Hey. Demaye. Uh, 150, 40, 250, 250. I don't think I did that right. So six thousand nine hundred dollars. Jesus Christ, six thousand nine hundred dollars about <laughs> for bills. Good Lord, I need to hit the pole. <sighs> and the total of all my subscriptions together now is about per month. I think we totaled it up, and it was about seventy. So it's about $280 for the month for all my subscriptions. And then here we get into variable expenses. So variable expenses, if you are new here, um, girl, and actually what's so crazy is I've been in my long nail uh, girl era. Uh, I don't care what, what y'all think or your opinion on my nails. I don't mean to sound ugly, but worry about your fingers. But I've been like fiending for my short like nude sets for a while but because like part of my brand is people like the nails i've been keeping them but i think for the winter i'm gonna go back to short nails and then i'll bring back long nails in the warmer months but anyway so variable expenses are the ones that you keep in your wallets these are expenses they vary money that you spend on a week-to-week -week basis they're going to be different for everyone because we all spend our money differently but for me <laughs> it's going to be gas groceries dining out which we are trying to cut out spending money uh, money for my pups money for help a human which is given and I'm now also going to put one in my wallet for household so if I'm out and about and see anything that I want from my home I can grab it this will be short term in there but just over the next couple months I know me and I'm gonna be wanting to buy what I want to buy and so to avoid putting that on a credit card when that's not my intention, I'll keep cash. So gas for the month, I know I need $400. It's actually gonna go down and we'll talk about why. Groceries, um, I'm gonna say 600. I'm considering buying half a cow. So that may help that expense. Um, dining out, we're going to say, we're gonna shoot for 200. We're trying to unbig our back shell, so we need to quit eating out. Spending money, I'm going to give myself 500 for this month. Pups are going to get 200 If Pinky has to get, um, if he's old enough to get rid of his huevos, that may increase. Help a human, we're going to do 100 And household, we're going to do 1000 Um, I don't have Sirius in my, uh, in my truck. We didn't like it. I just listen to Apple Music. Okay, so 1,000 plus 200 plus 
500 plus 200 plus 100 plus 1,000, that's $3,000 in variable expenses for the month. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to have to head on down to the bank because, oh, Lord, that's okay. I'm living in abundance. Everything I need is going to be provided to me. Okay, $280 for subscriptions. So what I'm going to do here is actually add up all three of these amounts and let's see what the total is for our living expenses. So 6900 plus 3000 plus 280 is $10,180. I'm just going to put that up here for my personal reference. Okay. So for debt, since we're paying mortgage over there, I'm not going to include debt here, but I am going to put my student loan because I am going to try to pay one off per month. I think the one for October is about $6,000, so I'm going to put that there. Sinking funds, I'm actually going to do last. I'm going to go over here to extra savings and investments. So we're going to be doing our monthly October savings challenge. Um... And just general challenges like my 52 week i try to do those with rollover money but i'm going to set aside a little bit for that i also contribute to my solo 401k to my brokerage account and to a rollover uh, uh ira whatever it's called where you try to backdoor roth or whatever not rollover so to my 401k we actually do this whole contribution at the end of the year from August on so that's just for me to note here my brokerage I do 500 a month I think we may have maxed out this already for my October challenge I don't know how much I need for this one um oh this one's a free one so let's do $20 per bat. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, um, 380. So I'm going to say I need about $400 for that challenge. General savings, I'm going to do another 200. So nine, $1,100 total towards savings and investments. So our income, we don't know. Our expenses are 10180 Our debt is 6000 Extra savings and investments is 1100 So let's see how much all of that totals so I can know. Okay, so that's $17,280. So let's look at my incomes for the month. So from baddies and budgets, I'm not sure what I'm going to pay myself yet. But I do get paid from YouTube. I get paid from Facebook. I get paid from Instagram. I get paid from TikTok. And I'm in another YouTube thing that's going to pay me out as well next month. I have other incomes. What else? Um, oh, uh, Amazon. Uh, oh, from my one-on-ones as well. Okay, so my YouTube check generally is going to be better this coming month. I think it's around $4,000. Facebook, I'm not at all sure this month. I haven't really been posting over there. So let's just say $2,500 to be saved. Instagram, I usually net about two thousand over there. TikTok, it's going to be seven thousand uh, dollars. This other YouTube check from this other program is ten thousand dollars from Amazon. I typically take around two grand, and I've done two one on one, so that's a thousand dollars. So let's see how much we have there. How close we get to eighteen hundred with that? So that's $28,500 from social media alone. I typically pay myself about $1,500 a week, which is about $6,000 a month, which will barely cover my mortgage. So I think I'm going to start paying myself $2,500 a week. Um, 
let's just do 3000 So that's $12,000 a month for baddies and budgets. I know it sounds outrageous, I know, but I work hard and my business makes really good money, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> don't, don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So $12,000 plus $4,000 plus $2,500 plus $2,000. Plus seven thousand, plus ten thousand, plus two thousand, plus one thousand is forty thousand five hundred dollars for the month for income. Y'all, that sounds insane. That's crazy. It's crazy how you can take one idea that I literally start. I didn't start this as a business. I started just trying to fix my own finances, and I worked so hard for two and a half years to take. Just not just sell products, but build my platforms up across all social medias. And to think that I can make this in one, this is not even what my business makes. This is just what I'm getting. And I like, I didn't, I don't even know if I've had very many jobs that pay me that for a, a year. That's just like such a, I'm like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> the last job I had, I think, paid me like $24,000 a year. That's insane. So anyway, $40,500. I'm forever grateful. And thank you so much for all of y'all that are here in this live. Because without people like you joining in on the journey, this wouldn't be possible. So I appreciate y'all too. So we have $40,500 for income, $10,180 for expenses, $6,000 for debt, 1000 for savings and investments. So for sinking funds, I think I'm going to give myself, because I know this month I need to furnish a house, an entire house. I'm going to give my sinking funds a lot of money because I know a big portion of that needs to go to home furnishing. So I'm going to give myself um, $15,000 for sinking funds. So in all the sinking funds that I create, I get to spend a total of $15,000 for the month saving in my sinking funds. I'm not going to fill all those in yet because I don't know 100% for sure which all I'm going to need, but this just gives me a general idea of how my spending should be going when I'm doing each paycheck. Very much blessed, but I know for sure that it's not a handout, honey. If you follow me for any amount of time, y'all know I work my ass off. So. I'm grateful, but I'm also, I know that I deserve to be here in this moment, in this time with what I have. And it's the same for you. Don't be feeling like you got to be overly humble if you work your ass off to get where you get. Because I know I don't sleep. I don't have a life. I work. So this is something I've been saving up for for a long time. Moving into a home. If you follow me for any amount of time, you know. I've been trying to move. Been trying to relocate. Been saving. So I'm ready for this next step in my life. And I'm so grateful and just so glad to be able to do this. So this is what we have for now. As y'all can see, your girl is winging it, okay? So I went on and made me some new envelopes. <laughs> to kind of try to fix my setup here. Uh, not this one, where's my bills? Freddie is holding my bills, y'all. Ain't Freddie the cutest? Freddie but make it Barbie, right? So I'm gonna pull out these old envelopes, except I'm gonna keep the credit card ones because I want to. But I think everything else, and maybe this one. It's going to go, so I'm going to put those to the side. Girl, <laughs> so pools take forever, and they're so expensive. Um, I was planning to get a home that already had a pool, but that didn't work out. So it may be a next year thing, but so just to give y'all, I'll just give y'all insight. So the house is so expensive because we got a home on some land, and we're also building a shop next to the home it has one but it's not big enough so work is now going to be attached to my house because i work all the time anyway so it's kind of like we're buying a warehouse and a house together so it's all in one lump sum i pay one set of bills but i get double the tax write-offs 
So that's really why it's so expensive, but it pays for itself. It makes sense financially. We've worked the numbers. I'm within budget. And so I'm really excited to share this journey with y'all. So patio furniture is a sinking fund. So it's pots and pans. So it's Black Friday. Uh, Sam's Run is a sinking fund. Fridge is a sinking fund. Couch, rugs, vacuum, mortgage, dryer, washer, water, Wi-Fi, trash, T-Mobile, security, hot tub. Yes, well, I haven't bought it yet. I close at the end of this month, but I am buying a home. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all are the first to hear it. Y'all are my OG fam, so I tend to share these things with y'all first. Yeah, girl, you know I'm going to go live when I get in my house. I'll start actually making a lot more content. Um, I live in the ghetto right now, y'all, and I wish I was secure enough to just show y'all my living <laughs> circumstances. But I've been living real poor for a real long time because I knew my next move. Um... And so now that I'm more comfortable with my surroundings and more comfortable sharing, I will share those things with you all. But I've been very much living in the ghetto. Um, so let's see, water, water, gas, electric. So yeah, I lived, I didn't inflate my lifestyle as I made more money, but I knew that I wanted to be a homeowner. I looked at like buying a duplex first and living in it and renting it out, but honey, I ain't got time. <laughs> I don't want to be a landlord. Like, first of all, I'm too nice. People going, it's going to be a single mother moving there and she ain't going to never pay the rent because the minute she tell me a sad story, I'm going to believe it because like time is tough. I ain't going to never make no money. I'm going to be bankrupt. Feeling sorry for folks. So I know that ain't my calling. Okay, so I got my new bills in here. So we'll work on these as we figure out the amounts. It's really hard to budget for them. I don't have to pay this current month's bills of anything, honestly, um, because I'm leaving. So, you know, my current situation is nice enough to give me a break for a month. So this is really saving up for next month's bills. So we'll work on that. First of all, these are my favorite new envelopes, y'all. They now load on the inside, and they are such good quality. Like, I got a new supplier, and everything we've been selling and creating has been such good quality. Like, the plastic is heavy. Ugh, I'm so glad to just keep elevating my business. So next up, we are going to do these sinking funds, and I think I'm going to put them in. Some of these are high-priority and some of these need to get moved to low priority. So emergency fund is high. Car maintenance is low now. Holidays are low. Christmas is high. Insurance deductible is met, so that can move to low. So can close. Um, life insurance can honestly go to low. Medical will stay in high. Uh, it, as far as we, I take care of my niece. Um, my oldest, not my, is she my oldest sister? My, it's my sister who's older than me, <laughs> passed away about eight years ago now. And so I've been taking care of my niece since she died. So it's me, her, and my two dogs. Yeah, my hot tub is coming first. First of all, y'all know about me and these big old boobs and back pain. So we're, I'm actually going to order the hot tub today so that we can get it moved in the first week we move in um and then we'll work on the pool so as far as high priority black friday is a high priority for me but all this is probably high priority because i need this asap when i move in like <laughs> i'm not living somewhere and i can't do the laundry we currently like have to use the laundry mat like we don't have a washer dryer at my house currently and i'm over it so I actually found some washer and dryers that I like by Samsung and they have good reviews so and they're on sale right now. I wish I could get them and like put them in storage, but I want the people to install them cuz I don't know nothing about that. 
But if I'm gonna miss the sale, I'm just gonna get them now and figure it out when the time comes. Like, I'm probably gonna have a breakdown and cry. I told my niece they can't move in until a week later so I can live by myself for a little bit. But I already know I'm just gonna be in there crying. I'm just, I can't even talk to y'all about it now good without getting emotional. Like, if you come from where I come from, like, <laughs> ugh, I can't even talk about it for real. Um, so, honestly, like, for now, um, my truck is not a priority. Honestly, fun isn't either. I'm going to have fun in my house. We won't be, we're going to travel this week, so this is actually going to get spent. But then I'm through with it for a while. Uh, perfume isn't a big deal, and neither is hair products. I have plenty of all those. So those are just going to go away for a little bit. And then I'm going to, so let's put these to the side. I am going to use travel. Like I said, we are taking a little trip this week. But after that, I'm working on my house. So we're going to move over. Which ones did I say, y'all? Oh, these. So we're going to move over car maintenance, holidays, insurance, deductible, clothes and shoes, and life insurance into low priority. And remember, like, priorities can change, right? As your life changes, your finances change, your priorities will change. Your budget should be ever-evolving as you are, and your life and your circumstances. And I'm sure these will continue to change as my needs change you know going forward so i really need to make them all in the same kind of envelope but again business owner so i have to showcase all of the stuff we sell so okay so those are all good Let me double check here emergency fund christmas medical i hate that these are facing that way that's gonna hurt me to death Y'all, I need a couch. We got this huge living room. I don't have a couch yet. I don't know which one to get. Couches are expensive as hell. Okay. So we got that all squared away. So now I know that I have $15,000 to put in sinking funds for the month. I'm not going to fill all these in. I just ain't. But I do need to budget for this week. You can schedule... I can schedule delivery later for the washing dryer at Best Buy. Girl, I have a love sack couch at my current house and it's held up okay, but I really want something like big and comfy, like not squishy like a cloud couch because we fat and I'm not going to be fluffing pillows every two days, but like something firm and I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but every time I, the cloud couch is pretty aesthetically, but first of all, I'm not getting no white couch. I have pets and also we messy. And just like having to fluff the pillows every day is not for me. I'm going to call Best Buy, Julie. Thank you for telling me that because I need that washer dryer. It's so pretty and it's so nice and has such good reviews. <sighs> yes, Danny. I know, girl, I'm big in my bag, but in the meantime, I need to be comfortable. <laughs> I'm also making a workout room in my garage. We have a three-car garage, and I only have a truck and a car, and it's actually split off. So in the part that holds one car, I'm going to put my treadmill and my weights and stuff for my home gym. But anyway, let's go ahead and break down, break down this paycheck so I can shoot a video after this of my cash stuffing. So for baddies and budgets, I said I'm going to pay myself three grand. The girls on TikTok gonna lose their mind. If I made three thousand dollars, I could budget too. Girl, I was budgeting when I made four hundred. Please, you gonna keep making excuses and stay broke. I be wanting to say that, but that's not the proper way to say it. But it's the truth. If I'd have been like, oh, I don't have enough. I can't do it. Girl, I was budgeting with six hundred dollars and nine hundred dollars worth of expenses, but I was determined. You can either like sit around and make excuses, or you can figure it out, honey. But people don't want to hear that. They want you to, oh, it's okay if you just, mm-hmm. Okay, girl. You're going to be right in that same spot next year, broken, struggling. 
when you could have made progress, been in a better place. Okay, so baddies and buddies, I, I am going to have rollover money. We ain't go nowhere for the past three or four days. I've been working from home trying to build out the Black Friday offers. So I probably will have some rollover. But I think I'm going to put it into savings challenges. Yep. So no rollover. And I think I'm also going to use some of... Um, I still have some of my YouTube check. So I'm going to probably use that from last month. So I'm going to use that. That's 1500 so that's 4500 So this is a weekly paycheck breakdown. I do this every week because I'm paid weekly. If you're paid bi-weekly, you only need to do this every other week. Y'all, you know we not it's not even supposed to be bi-weekly, it's supposed to be bi-monthly cuz bi-weekly means twice a week. Somebody told me that and I was like, "Ooh. Ooh. That makes sense." But it's too late now because I call it bi-weekly. So just let me keep looking down. I think I'm going to chill on self lender for now. I got enough bills, child. Sorry, y'all. If y'all hear somebody snoring, my dog is on the floor knocked out. Ooh, y'all, y'all real for telling me that about Best Buy. Literally for real, y'all are so real for that. As soon as I get off here, I'm going to order those. Girl, I wish I could. I don't. I don't have kids, so I've never really balled out during tax season. But dear Lord Jesus Christ, I just wish one time I could get the tax check. I'm act right. I'm act right. I'm gonna start a business and flip that check by summertime. Once you learn how to make money, you realize how easy it is to make money. A lot of people just don't believe they can do it. Okay, so if my mortgage is $5,300, what do I owe per week? $1,325. Ooh, the girlies gone. All the old ladies on Facebook going to call me. They're going to tell me I ain't shit. They, the old ladies on Facebook hate me. But they keep watching, so I keep getting a check. They be really wanting to call me some races but but they don't they be talking crazy though whenever people make comments like about black girls with long nails or stuff that's like stereotypical i don't think they understand like the microaggressions behind that and how it's just a little bit racist or little snooty things they say like living as a black person you have to understand the microaggressions that happen like when i very first met my realtor he asked me did i win the lottery would you have asked the white woman that no <laughs> Sometimes you just be swallowing stuff and you get in your car. You be like, wait, what did he say? It's crazy. Crazy world we live in. And you just expect it to eat it and act like it's... Don't make a big deal because then you make, and you make everything about race. And, well, you just did too, sucker. The fact that like when you move it in a place, I literally be asking my realtor, do black people live here? What, like driving around looking for Confederate flags and stuff, cause like you're not gonna be calling the police on me for having a barbecue. Like, it's just little stuff that black people have to deal with that I don't think a lot of people get or understand. <laughs> you be riding around the neighborhood hoping to see another person of color, Mexican, black, Chinese, something. They don't like us either half the time, but something. It's just little things you don't really. Normal, I'm not normal people, but most people don't have to deal with. So we're gonna say seventeen, seventeen for bills. Yeah, he did ask me if I want a lottery girl. You have a sofa by Lazy Boy and it held up good. Okay, Derek, I'm gonna check it out. 
Yeah, you know, it used to, like, I used to get really offended by it, but your ignorance don't have nothing to do with me. Like, I just addressed it later. Like, I was offended when you said, and he apologized and act like he, you know, didn't have any idea why that would have offended me, like most people do. But, you know, I just learned to, like, stand up for myself and address it. That way they don't make that mistake with other people. Sometimes people really don't get it. It's so ingrained in them that they don't understand. But, honey, I work hard for what I got. I wish I would have won the lottery. But, <laughs> but no. <clears throat> if I won the lottery, I wouldn't need you. I'd go offer somebody cash. But anyway. So, for my variable expenses for the week, I'm going to do, guess, groceries, dining out, which, again, we are trying to severely cut out on. First of all, fast food is getting so expensive, like it's cheaper to go sit down and eat somewhere or cook at home. Um, and household money. I'm not gonna do the pups, cause they got a sinking fund. Uh, for gas, I need gas right now. Groceries, we actually need groceries. I'm gonna do 150. Dining out, y'all. I'm gonna try to stick to my 40. That's usually will cover us for like one meal. Which is enough. That's enough. Big backs. Okay. Spending. I'm going to do 50. Help a human. I'm actually going to do 20. Because there's been a lot of people over by my work. With signs and stuff lately. And I won't be having enough money. Household. I'm going to do. Probably 200. Okay. So let's add those up. Y'all hear Pinky snoring back there? Thank you for the gifts. Yes, I actually heard that Texas T Ranch to pay it bi-monthly. I'm going to try to pay it. Once I get a month ahead, I'm going to try to pay it every week. Listen, it's so easy to spend. And it's not even like you got to be buying a whole lot to spend a lot of money. At. Like, you can't even go to McDonald's for cheap no more. First of all, this food made me feel like a slug. But y'all can at least be cheap because the food is terrible. So I don't even go there no more. Like, we be trying to eat like Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, but that ain't cheap either. So for my subscriptions, I'm just going to head and do all subs. I don't feel like writing all that. So 280 divided by 4 is $70. Girl, I um I ate noodles the other night because I was like, I'm not ordering DoorDash. Girl, I got on DoorDash the other day trying to get a coffee up here at work. Dunkin' Donuts is right around the corner. I just had a Zoom, so I couldn't go. The coffee was like $5. The delivery was like 30 something I said, ooh, I'll swallow my spit before I do that. Luckily, the uh, appointment got moved or whatever, so I just went to go get it. I was like, y'all are crazy. Some at $7.99 service fee to drive up the street. Don't you worry about it. I'll crank up this truck. Okay, so my total for income is $4,500, and here on our planner, we have a little place at the bottom for you to calculate to see how much money rolls over to the next page. Let me read your questions. Oh, I know that's right. Come on, points. If I can afford it, pay an extra amount towards my principal and pay it every two weeks. That will add an entire month's worth of mortgage every year. Thank y'all. I've heard that. I've seen that on TikTok a few times. <laughs> yes, Chris. Swallow must be. <laughs> Girl, yeah, the price is the price. They're so expensive, y'all. Let me, let me, since I keep it a buck with y'all, let me keep it a buck. I ordered those planners. I ordered a thousand of them. I had to pay almost fifteen thousand dollars to ship them here because they were delayed, and I had pre-ordered them and promised them by a certain time. First issue, they sent me the video of them as they're packing them up. They did the wrong box, so I had to argue back and forth for a week to get them to fix the box. So that added an additional week. So I ended up having to pay 15 grand to get them shipped over here express so they would get here in time because I had told people they would be ready by a certain date. $15,000, who do you think got extra $15,000, okay? So they get here, I'm all excited, we all prep, sweating. First of all, I'll insert the footage in my vlog. It was 100 boxes, <laughs> 100 boxes in my yard from my front door to my truck. Sweating, about to pass out, putting them all in the truck, taking trips back and forth to bring them up here to work. We all sit down, getting ready to pack them. Open up the first one. It has fell apart. 
they were not correctly bound. The coils were not correctly tightened. I'm, I'm opening them up. I'm opening them up. I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's just this one that's messed up. Maybe it's just this one. By the time I got to the sixth one, I, my eyes were welling up. Like, I had a literal breakdown. I had to leave the room, go in the bathroom, and, like, cry. Because I was like, I'm about to have to refund <laughs> over 500 people, right? And for one, it's not about the money. It, it was not that for me. It was that people trust you with their money. Imagine paying for something, waiting a month, and then they're like, oh, we got to cancel it. Like, it doesn't matter even if I told you the issue. It, I would have lost those customers for life. They would never trust me again with another pre-order. So, had my breakdown, called my mentor. She wasn't available. So, I got on Google, started looking up local print shops. So, I'm running all over town with these planner samples. Like, can you please rebind this? Whatever the cost, it doesn't matter. Finally found one. Sat down with the lady. Had to freak out with her. And they were able to help me. So, we had to load them up. Take them to the print shop. And they recoiled and rebound every planner. But they're only able to do so many because it's a manual job. You know, it's not China. They don't have 30 people in the warehouse. So I've only been able to sell them as they've been able to fix them. And a lot of them had like messed up tabs. So we have a pile of probably 200 planners in there right now. We ain't even got them all yet. That we can't sell at full price because they're messed up. So it's just like things like that in business that people don't see and understand like the stress of that. <sighs> And they're heavy. They're a lot heavier than I expected. So they're really expensive to ship. So so we could make some kind of profit, <laughs> we had to raise the price a bit. And I'm sorry about that. We are working with the, another supplier to make a lighter copy because I, the price point is crazy. Um, but yeah, just to be completely honest, that's kind of where it's at. So yeah it's like the air shipping ate up the profit so <laughs> but again i have promised people something so it doesn't matter my name is all that i have so if i ain't making no money on it that's fine at least we making enough back to put it back into the bank but people need what they pay for so it's just been a terrible ordeal so i'm currently fighting to get some of my money back from the supplier that's a whole nother thing and it's just been a mess it has really soured me on buying something like that from overseas so i've actually been speaking with like some u.s suppliers which again are expensive but at least i know it'll be done right um so we're gonna launch them again maybe in the future after we sell out of these but it it will be done in a different way so hopefully we can keep it under the hundred dollar price point because i know that that's not accessible to everyone and I am sorry about that. We do offer it in an A5 version, version um, that's this size, that comes with a binder that's cheaper. <sighs> but yeah, just to explain, because our goal here isn't to price gouge you, but I am running a business and we do have employees, so I do have to price things so that we can continue to run business. And if the same way your bills are inflating, so are ours as a small business. So remember that too, that as you have less, so do we. <laughs> and I have people who feed their families here. So I have to price accordingly. It's not to get rich off of you, I promise I'm not. I am barely making any money off of these planners. So yeah. But we will, um, for those of you who want one but can't afford it, I I don't know if we need to take pictures of each one, but we're going to offer like a oopsie version. And typically what's wrong with them is the tabs are bent or like ripped a little bit. And so those will be marked down significantly. So you can also purchase those soon uh, once I get a minute to sit down and get pictures and stuff of them. Um, that's also another option. Uh, and the digital, I had to send it um, send it in to get some hyperlinks fixed that I messed up. I don't have time to do it myself. So I'm hoping to have that available next week um, when my designer sends it back to me. Okay, so we have our income put in. Next, we're going to total up our expenses for this week, which are $17.17 plus $560 plus $70 is $23.47. So, our income, $4,500 minus $2,347 is $2,153 to move over to the next page. 
So I'm just going to write that up here. So for debt, I actually already paid my student loan for this month. So I'm not, I paid the $6,000 or whatever with some money from last month. So I'm not going to bother with that. I am going to go ahead and put some money towards my October challenge. And like I said, I do all my investing online. I don't pull that in cash. It automatically gets transferred over. So I don't put that here because it tends to confuse people in videos and stuff. So for the October challenge, Pinky. Jesus, he be snoring like an old man. So for the October challenge, you kind of get free reign. So you can make these little bats, whatever. So I'm going to make mine $20. And I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do four of them with this check. So let's do, and y'all see we updated these. I've been trying to upgrade everything, y'all, the quality of everything. So these, they're corner rounded. They're now on cardstock and it's kind of glossy, kind of glossy finish. We updated the envelopes and now you also get a binder with these. So you get a clear binder, these and these. So we've been trying to, we hear y'all when y'all leave comments and stuff and we're trying to accommodate so eighty dollars for that challenge pink wake up boy um i also have some other challenges to do but i'm gonna do those with rollover so for this month we're just gonna do eighty dollars for savings the rest is gonna go towards sinking funds so let's look at our sinking funds here and see how much we're going to add to these Yes, Kelly, we tried to only send out ones with minimal damage, and it still may have got bent in transit a little bit, but girl, you should see the ones we had to sit aside. And they were technically supposed to be laminated. That's another issue that I have with the supplier, so that they wouldn't get bent at all, but they didn't even do it. So, anywho, anywho. So, here in high priority, we are going to do... I don't need to add to my emergency this week. Why is that getting caught? Um, I am going to add to Christmas. Yes, I am. I'm going to do emergency. Girl, <laughs> he be out there knocked out like he actually work. Uh, I am going to do medical. I got to find me some health insurance so I can get an HSA. Okay, so we're gonna do Black Friday. We're gonna do pots and pans. Um, my Sam's run. The fridge, I'm not gonna worry about because they did leave us the fridge they have. That was part of the deal. Couch, I just want a new fridge. I do need a rug for underneath my bed in my bedroom. I do need a new vacuum. Vacuum has two C's and two U's. I think I spelled that wrong. Oh well. And washer and dryer. Hot tub, I'm probably going to do that just digitally because it's so expensive. <laughs> oh, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly, you purchase from us a lot. If you do have any issues with it, let me know, and I will do my best to make that right for you. We literally have been quality checking everyone and trying to send out the absolute best ones we can. Car maintenance doesn't need anything. Holidays is going to get a little bit because I may also use this money for shopping. Insurance deductible. I'm going to put a little bit in there. Clothes and shoes doesn't need anything. Life insurance is going to get a little. My nieces. I'm actually going to get one of them this week. So spending money doesn't need anything. The puppies will get some. Therapy needs to get some. Honey, I haven't been to therapy all year. I'm going to try to get started this week. None of these need anything. Okay. All right, 
So now we have sinking funds. So let's see how much money we have to put in sinking funds. $4,523.47. So over here at the bottom, this paycheck breakdown is how you calculate whether you're on a zero-based budget or not. So we have $4,500 for income. Expenses are $2,347. Debt, nothing from this check. And then investments is 80. So to figure out how much money I have from sinking funds, I'm going to subtract all of that. So 4,500 minus 2,347 minus 80. So I have 2,000, let me double check, because I always mess that up. 4,500 minus 2,347 minus 80. So I have $2,073 to apply to sinking funds. Okay. Uh, I may update the monthlies next year. People loved them so much that I just didn't bother with them. But I'm hoping to have a little free time at the end of the year to update those for sure. Okay, so we're going to start with this 2073 on the calculator and subtract as we go. You know what? And the thing is, is initially when I first started um, Ebony, I didn't have a lot of money left over for sinking funds too. And that's usually how it is until you either A, increase your in income or decrease your expenses or debt. Um, once I paid off like some commercial debt I had, student loans, then I started to have more money for sinking funds. But a lot of people, when you first start out with this method, you won't have a lot for sinking funds or you'll just have enough to do one or two. And that's okay. And it's standard. Uh, we don't, you're, y'all are coming in on year three <laughs> of my budget. If you go back to the very first YouTube video I posted, life was a whole lot different. And you can tell and you can see it in the numbers. So it's really a process as you pay off debt, as you increase your income, increase, you know, decrease your lifestyle or whatever you have to do to get more money. Then you can start to do more of these things. Okay, so for emergency fund, I'm actually just going to do 25 For Christmas, I'm going to do 100 because I did not catch stuff for a few weeks. Medical, I'm going to do 100 as well. Uh, Black Friday, I'm going to do 500. Uh, Y'all done forgot what the hell PMP is. Oh, pots and pans. I know that I need $300 for those. I found a set that I like. Sam's run, I'm just going to do 100 from this paycheck. Uh, couch. Oh, Lord, I know this ain't going to be enough, but I'm just going to do 100. I'll do more with my next check since the pots and pans will be almost filled. Rugs is going to get 100 as well. Vacuum is going to get 50. Washer and dryer is going to get 100, which I may just go ahead and buy those and then pay myself back. So that leaves me with $448, let me just write that. Let me go ahead and total these up. So 225 plus 850 plus 350 plus 200, 1625. Okay, so we have 448 left over for these low priority funds. That's okay, Catherine. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad you made it to the live. So let's see. First thing we want to go ahead and do is put 100 in puppies because he literally has an appointment today. Oh, damn. Did I miss the appointment? No, I didn't. It's not till 2.30. Okay. So 100 in puppies. Therapy, we're going to do... I'm going to do that one last. I'm gonna put 150 for my nieces, cause honey, they, can I have, can we make some slime, can we? So we have 198 left. Let's do, let's do 50 towards the insurance deductible. We'll do 48 towards life insurance. Therapy, we'll do 75 
and holidays will do 25 so that should cover everything so 75 plus 48 plus 150 plus 100 plus 75 gives us 448 dollars before i write in here and jack it up let me make sure i got my numbers right 4500 minus 2347 minus 1625 minus 448 minus 80 should give us zero perfect so 1625 plus 448 is 2073 so for our sinking funds total here we have 200 i'm sorry 2073 dollars okay so then to make sure that you actually have a zero based budget or to see how much surplus you have or how much of a deficit you're in you do 4500 minus 2347 minus zero minus 2073 minus 80 which gives us zero so we created a perfect zero based budget so now i'm ready to cash stuff technically so it's technically a completed budget for this week's paycheck so the next step especially for newbies if you have no idea how much cash you need why is it so blurry um is this paycheck breakdown so what you want to do is just go in and write down each category that you need how much cash you need for it and then choose the denomination you want so say this was i don't know christmas and the total that you needed for this cash stuffing was a hundred dollars you can choose whether you'd want one 100, two 50s, five 20s, whatever. And then at the end, you total them up, check your denominations, make sure that your numbers add up to your total on your other page. And then the numbers that you have here, you put onto a teller slip, and that's what you take to the bank to get the correct bills so that you can cash stuff correctly. Okay? These are restocked. They should be. I restocked them last night, like midnight, or this morning so there should be i think we had a hundred and something back there and i put them all on there so unless they've sold out they should be there so now we are ready and prepared to cash stuff so i can go through pull the cash for this and do my cash stuffing which i will shoot next so now y'all can look back at me And if y'all have any questions, oh, I look a rig. Um, I can answer them. Need some edge, edge gel. Looking raggedy. Okay. You got your pink binder yesterday and you're ready to set it up. Um, I'm gonna actually shoot a flip through because people were asking, this new tripod sucks. Um, hold on. Let me get my life. Okay, so I actually am going to do a flip through because people were asking for one. So I'm going to shoot that today as well so that you can see. This is a sample one. This one is not correct. So it ain't even really no point in me showing you. But it's the same as the other planner, just in A5 version. So the smaller version. This is A5. And this one is A4 size, like the standard size. And then this is A5. So this is like a regular um a5 binder thank you girl i'm so sad that we're gonna have to leave it behind <laughs> at the new year our lease is up here in january so they'll be staying here until january and i'm gonna work on getting the building together at the house and then we'll move the entire business in january um so the 52 week and 100 envelope savings challenge um they're on their way customs grabbed our shipment and they release it when they release it so they've had it almost three weeks now so hopefully they let it go we did change the cover of this to something that fits our vibe a little more but it's still the same on the inside um we also put a cover on the 52 weeks too i didn't like that it was it comes naked like this like i put a dashboard in here but it's typically just bare where you can see the envelopes. And it just comes with a tracker. 
Instead, I decorated the back of the tracker, um, created a custom cover, and so now they will have a cover as well. And if you don't like it, you can just pull it out, but just so, you know, it has a little bit more of a vibe. So these will be back as soon as Customs decides to release our shipment. Um, I've also created a student loan binder that's also in that shipment, as well as we upgraded our occasion binders. So we had a big sale. We're trying to offload as much inventory as we can because for one, we're moving and we don't have to move it. And for two, we are changing up a lot of our items and there's a lot of stuff we won't be offering. So I'm actually gonna go live on TikTok either tonight or tomorrow and do a live sale and you will get a whole lot for $50. We're gonna fill up a box for you with binders and stuff. So if you're in the market for binders and you're looking for some affordable bulk <laughs> binders, definitely come check us out at the TikTok sale. So once we sell out of what we have, of the um, budget sheet notepad and expense tracker notepad, they're getting updated to the new style, the same as the planner. I think we're just about sold out of what we have. So next week, when I get photos, we're gonna um, upgrade the budget sheet notepad and expense tracker notepad to the new style. Um, we also have this doggy savings binder, which I use for the puppies. Um, Pinky now has all of his puppy shots, so he's actually going to get pet insurance to hopefully cut back on some of these expenses. But if you have dogs, you know, honey, they can be expensive. So I created a binder for that. Y'all know as I go through stuff, I make binders for it because I know it's other people in the world going through stuff. So this is the doggy binder. We have one for teachers. We have um, a debt payoff binder. We have a month ahead binder, which is out of stock until Lord knows when. That's also in customs. Um, we brought back the 1500 and 350 challenges, but they're already done. We're not DIYing with sticker kits anymore. They're already done for you. When you receive them, you get the 1500 and the 350, and they're ready to go as soon as you get them. We upgraded any most things that we sell that require a binder, like. Um, what is it? Our monthly savings challenge, our A6 laminated challenges, those now come with envelopes and a binder. We want more things when you receive them for you to be able to actually use them when you receive it. I found that a lot of people message me like, hey, what binder goes with this? And I don't like that. I want you to be able to receive our products, put it together and get started saving. So that's an upgrade I made. Um, we're getting rid of the majority of binders we sell and we are now going to have one style. It's actually going to be this style. So this will be available in A5, A6, and A7. You can buy all three or you can buy them individually. Um, as you grow in your business, it's a lot harder to keep up with inventory when you sell 50,000 things. And it's a lot harder to focus on quality. So instead of selling 45 different binders we're going to sell a few but do them well so that's our move going forward but like for this live sale we have there's like binders we haven't even put on the site yet that we're going to put in a box so you can order the box during the live sale and we will fill it up <laughs> pack it up and ship it to you it's a non-refundable final sale but you're going to get a good deal Yeah, see, I don't work a full-time job. <laughs> this is my full-time job, so, you know. And it's different at different levels. So we've gone from being a six-figure business to a multi-seven-figure business. And so on the back end, financially, a lot has changed. Uh, they don't tell you that more money, more problems is real. Um, you have to learn to manage it. You have to do things different on the back end. There's a lot more taxes and a lot more responsibilities um, as you bring on more people. <laughs> there's a lot more responsibilities and so you'll start to see things changing um actually really soon so yeah that's okay $90 is more than you had a while ago I'm sure like money adds up keep saving don't compare yourself to other people it's your journey stay on your journey girl it's about time to watch this it's it's hard for me to keep um, straight air because I sweat like a pig. Like, I sweat. And I only sweat in my head. 
Like, I will literally be sweating right here and the rest of my body is fine. But thank you. Absolutely. I don't know what time the TikTok sale is. I just kind of go live when I finish stuff around here. I have to shoot a YouTube video. I need to make some content. Working on the Black Friday release, which is, Lord Jesus, it's been a whole ordeal. So once I finish all that, if I still have some energy before, <laughs> before it's time to go, I'll do it today. If not, I'm going to come do it tomorrow evening. Uh, the mechanical calculator is on the site under pink calculator. Girl, I knew I needed a puppy binder when I had Pinky all of two weeks. And he came down with Parvo Child. And it was like $900. And they kept him for 10 hours. They were like, oh, we're going to have to keep him overnight. I was like, oh, okay. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I said, well, is he going to stay for a couple days? Or, oh, no, you got to pick him up by 7. It's $900 for y'all to keep this fool for, <laughs> for six hours. But I was in distress. Like, I thought he was going to die. So I was, I don't care. Just do it. You know. You gotta like the thing is is it takes consistency so this year for me has been the first year since i started this journey that consistency has been an issue and it's not because of finances it's because i literally sometimes don't have time um <laughs> i'm working on getting some people hired to now help me with the administrative stuff but <sighs> it's all consuming um but i say that to say like i still bounce back so like this month I have to be consistent. I'm, my budget is so off track. So you just have to keep forcing yourself to come back to the table and get it together. I So we technically have two puppies. But one is mine. The other I bought for my niece. So he's her responsibility. So financially one. But that I love, two. Blue and pinky. Hello. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm glad you love my products. So, yeah, I um, I got to get off here, y'all, because I got to record these YouTube videos because y'all be mad at me because I don't put long-form content up no more, and I get it. I'm going to try to get y'all up one. Not today. I'm going to record it today, try to edit it tonight when I get home, and then I'm going to try to have it scheduled to go live tomorrow. So, I'm going to record that, get some short-form content recorded, go see what we have left to do this live sale and I may do it tonight. Depends on how many TikTok shop orders came through. That's a whole nother headache. If it didn't if it didn't go so well, I would close it. I hate it. It's the worst. But yeah, um so if I can get everything done, the live sale will be tonight. If not, which is I forgot Pinky gotta go to the doctor. It's probably gonna be tomorrow. So it's just it's literally gonna be binders. Nothing else. Binders and like stuff we have left over from mystery boxes. Just anything we're not taking with us will be on the site. So we have like some cups, some keychains, lots of binders, a few wallets, some of those baddie baggies, like some savings bags, that kind of stuff. If you're interested in any of that and you want it at a good price, come see us. You, If you subscribe to me on TikTok or whatever, it'll notify you when I go live. So. But other than that, I got to go because I got to go to work. So y'all don't be fussing at me. I would love to, too. I got to find somebody. But I'm no longer working with people I know because that has not gone well. <laughs> so I'm going to put up a job description. Okay, so I will see y'all next time. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Leave a comment. Go watch a few other videos. Okay. Because that's love. That's how you show me love as a content creator. Okay? So look forward to the new video. I'm shooting for tomorrow, but don't hold me to it. It might be Wednesday. Okay? Bye. Have a good day.